Hi, my name is Mike and I'm on site at QTech today to tell you about their new QEVA electric vehicle charging point adapter, run through all of the features and show you the product in use. So QTech is no stranger to electric vehicle charging. The QEVSE adapter has been out for quite some time. It's a fully featured electric vehicle charging point test adapter. It comes with sort of all of the industry standard features, free phase, uh, CP error, PE error, a touchpad. It can also be connected to an oscilloscope for further intense diagnostics. It has a 13 amp plug connector on the back so you can attach your traditional lead. It's obviously got the standard sort of EV charger plug. It's compatible with all type two chargers and type one chargers via an additional adapter. And you can of course select your different charge states and your, your ratings and stuff like that. So it's quite a feature rich but cumbersome adapter. And that's why they've come out with the QEVA, which as you can see is considerably smaller, a lot smaller in fact. If I hold them together, you can see the footprint of this device is far smaller than this one. You haven't got the cable as well. And I believe due to them making it more compact and um, yeah, more efficient in some ways, it's also cheaper compared to the, the QEVSE, but also other uh, competitors and other brands of, of EV charge adapter. Now, while the QEVSE is a more feature rich specialist, electric vehicle charge point test adapter. The QEVA is no slump either. This comes fully featured with everything you'd need to test most electric vehicle charge points. It comes with your type two plug, the all in one body, the four millimeter connectors on the bottom. It's three phase compatible. It has a simple one dial operation. I'll get more into that in a bit. And it also has the ability to pass 10 amps through it to simulate loads. So using the QEVA is super simple. Like any adapter, you just want to plug it into the electric vehicle charging point. It's currently in the off mode on the three stage dial, and I'm just going to put it onto ready, which is going to simulate that a car is plugged in, but not asking for a charge. Now you might see here, I've got a comms error or a CP error. That's actually because this is a kiosk charger. You need to use a RFID card to access the charger to let it work. But it's cool because I can show you this unique patented technology that QTech have put into this device. And what that is, is when it's in ready mode or in the middle state, it's actually going to automatically test for a CP error, for a comms error by itself. And of course, it's going to illuminate red if that's uh, if it's unsatisfactory. And if it's all OK, it will actually light up blue ready. And you'll see that when I tap this card here, it should change and go into a ready state like so. You then want to pop it over to charge and then it's going to simulate a electric vehicle asking for a charge. You can also see here L1, L2 and L3 have illuminated to show me that I have got all three phases. Obviously on a single phase charger, L1 would just illuminate and now I can then plug in my four mil leads and do my RCD tests, my earth fault loop impedance tests and any of the further tests that I need to do, which this adapter allows me to complete. Right guys, that is me all done. The charging point is both functionally tested as well as the initial verification electrical tests thanks to the QEVA adapter. It was super simple, super easy to use, and I'm pretty impressed with it. What I'm actually sadly impressed the most about is the fact that it fits in my my test toolbox of everything else in there, because that's something the EVSE adapter and any other adapter, but to be honest, wouldn't be able to do just because of the size and how cumbersome they are. I'd always have to carry my EVSE separately in the van. Not a big deal, but for someone who likes to be so organized and have all my little boxes for different tasks, it's a really big deal for me that I can just chuck this in there. I mean, you could even just, you know, chuck it in your pocket. <laughs> no problems. It's super, super small. I think they've done well to get it that that compact, to be honest with you. What's cool as well about it is, of course, that, that patented technology and also the one dial design. So, you know, some of the, well, the EVSE even, and they've got different dials, different buttons, stuff like that. And uh, I've never used some of those features. <laughs> I've literally never used the oscilloscope feature. The fact that they've simplified this design with the one dial design, the automatic testing features is really, really cool. And it just makes it really easy to use. And of course, you've got your 
pins on the bottom. You haven't got a 13 amp adapter, but to be honest with you, um, if you're doing a lot of three phase charges and stuff like that, you've got to use these anyway, rather than using the 13 amp plug. So yeah, it's, um, it's a breeze to use. It's super compact and I definitely recommend it. And that is uh, from someone who owns both adapters now. I'm certainly gonna be getting this one out more purely because it's in my test box and it's super easy to use. If you've got any questions about the QEVA or the EVSE or any of the QTEC products, don't hesitate to drop me a message on any of my socials at Residual Current, but you can also reach out to the QTEC technical team. They're great, very knowledgeable, and they're more than happy to help you through any of their products, explain any features, and they also know far more than me about any of this stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.